Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Today we are back again with some good news for the Indian Navy's requirement of naval utility helicopter. So today's discussion will be in three parts. In the first part we will be talking about the latest trials of LH Group and its significance. In second part we will be talking about the Indian Navy's requirement of naval helicopter and in the last part of the video we will be comparing the LH Group with its close competitor Panther. LH Group has been in news from the beginning of the year 2021. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has handed over three advanced LH Group uh, which is LH MK3 version to the Indian Navy and two to Indian Coast Guard during the Aero India 2021 in the presence of Defence Minister Mr. Rajnath Singh. HAL and Indian Navy has signed a contract to deliver 16 LH MK3 which is an improved version equipped with Shakti 1H engines, new electronic warfare EW suit and warning systems, automatic shaft and flare dispensers and improved vibration control system. In recent trials conducted this week, the advanced light helicopter LH through MK3 has successfully demonstrated its deck operations capabilities that include landing on deck, folding of blades and touring the helicopter inside the onboard hangar. The ship bond trials are conducted off Chennai coast in collaboration with Indian Coast Guard. It also covered maintenance activities inside the hangar and on the deck and hot refueling with engines running on the deck. This trial was important because it proved the capabilities of LH Dhruv to carry out extended operations from ships. Also, the missions like surveillance, search and rescue, anti-pollution to address oil spillage etc. were successfully executed during the trial. With a successful demonstration of these capabilities like blade folding, stowage, the helicopter is now ready to be fielded for operation. If you closely observe the blades of HL Dhruv, only the side blades need to be folded which moves backwards. The other blades at the front and back remains at their original position. HL had already demonstrated the design and development of LH's tail boom and horizontal stabilizer folding feature for meeting the shipborne helicopter stowage requirements. It was demonstrated on 7th November 2020 with an Dhruv MK3 DW DM prototype helicopter. In combination with existing two blades folding, the achieved stowage dimension of LH 13.5 meter length and 3.5 meter width and 4.1 meter height meets the Navy's NUH or Naval Utility Helicopters specification. Now let's try to understand the Indian Navy's requirement and how Dhruv fits into it. The Indian Navy has been desperate to replace its Chetak fleet of 1960s vintage. It needs at least 111 new naval utility helicopters for its operational requirements. The European firm Airbus which is offering its AS565 MBE naval version of the Panther family of helicopters is considered to be the front runner for both leasing and overall plan of 111 naval utility helicopters. However, with Dhruv fulfilling the Navy's requirement is now emerging as a potent competitor and in many parameters better than Panther. Now if we compare both the helicopters, LH Dhruv has more powerful engine when compared with Panther. Dhruv can carry 12 to 14 fully equipped troops whereas it's limited to 10 in Panther helicopters. If we look at the arm version of Dhruv which is Rudra and compare the firepower of it with Panther, it is almost similar. Therefore, Indian Navy has a very potent choice in form of LH Dhruv to fulfill its requirement of 111 naval utility helicopters which will also boost India's move towards becoming self-reliant in the defense sector. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in the comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.